Things are ramping up fast as the elite abuser class and its tools in big tech and dinosaur media make a desperate push to rush everyone into getting jabbed. And then jabbed again and again with booster after booster. While the perpetual jabbing program takes root, we are also expected to submit to Orwellian control systems like vaccine passports and vaccine mandates aimed at dividing the population into two groups, the compliant and increasingly state-dependent good guy and the non-conforming, freedom-minded bad guys. From there, the elites and their tools demonize the non-conformists and lay the blame for all of society's ills at the feet of these deplorables who would dare resist having government-made vaccines injected to them, again and again and again, supposedly for the sake of combating a government-made virus. Remember, if the point of origin for COVID was indeed the government-run lab in Wuhan, then the virus is by by definition, government made. The bottom line has been made clear. Those who do not comply with government run medical experiments are worthy of being completely sequestered from culture and society. In this context, freedoms and liberties are being attacked by the elite abuser class at a blistering pace. A big government, big tech, and big business blitzkrieg against basic individual freedoms is in high gear for all to see. And now that we are all clear as to the undeniable reality of this blitz against human individuality and freedom, we are beginning to sense that if we're going to retain any freedom at all, and if we're going to actually reclaim the liberty that has been seized by the globalist Marxist elite abuser class, we are very likely to have to fight back with all that we have. We're actually going to have to do something to preserve our freedom. We're going to actually have to act in order to save ourselves, our families, and the future of our families from the Marxist hellhole that has opened up around us. It all comes down to one simple question. Are we free or are we slaves? And then, if we're free, what do we do about those who would make us slaves? Will we fight them for our freedom or will we let the elite abusers take it away? Will we fight for our liberty or will we buy into the big tech and dinosaur media propaganda that implores us to trade it all away for the benefit of an elite abuser class managed collective existence? If the last war between the states was about slavery, and it certainly was to some extent, then how much more likely does the next potential war between the states or groups within the states seem to already be centering on the new and government-approved slavery? How likely is the next war for freedom and independence on American soil to be inspired by a 1776-like spirit that will simply not stand for the slavery that the elites are attempting to fasten around our necks even now? Will vaccine slavery be the trigger for the next war of independence? This seems more and more likely with each passing day and each new mad grab for power being made by desperate elites. Let's hope that it doesn't come to that and that this new attempt at mass slavery is put down another way. But if it cannot be done away with by peaceful means, then let's hope and pray that God graces us with the zeal and determination to do whatever it takes to secure our freedom and the freedom of future generations from the slavery and control-obsessed creatures draping chains around our necks at this very moment. Will we be free or will we be slaves? That is the question that we must now answer. If you appreciate this perspective, please subscribe subscribe to the channel and share this video. If you want deeper dives into subjects like this, sign up for the weekly newsletter at hellraiserreport.com.